Welcome to Review Central. This is FEU College Admission Test Reviewer Number 2, featuring questions for the FEUC AT Mathematics Subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take, the Far Eastern University College Admission Test, or FUCAT. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous few cats. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Now let's begin. Question number one. A line is perpendicular to line A, which has an equation of x equals, minus 2 times the quantity y plus 4. What is the slope of the line? A minus 1 half B 1 half C 2 D 4 The correct answer is C 2. Step 1. Let's express the equation for line A in the standard slope intercept form equation of a line. That is, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, and b is its y-intercept. We should end up with, y equals minus 1 half x, minus 4. From here we can simply extract the values for the slope, m, of line a, and its y-intercept. For this problem we actually only need the slope m which is minus 1 half. Step 2. Recall from geometry that the slope of a line that is perpendicular to a second line is simply the negative reciprocal of the slope of the second line. Therefore, to find the slope of the line that is perpendicular to line A, we simply take the negative reciprocal of the slope of line A. The correct and final answer is 2. Question number 2. Mickey is 3 years younger than Jacob at the moment. When their ages are doubled, Jacob is 6 years older than Mickey. Finally, the current total of their ages right now is 17. Which of the following could be Mickey's age right now? A. 7 years old B. 15 years old C. 17 years old D. 20 years old The correct answer is A. Mickey is 7 years old right now. For the solution to this, let's introduce you to a handy technique when solving age problems, the age table. Using the age table is straightforward and easy. Tabulate with the names of the people whose ages are being compared as rows, and the known or given points in time, usually the present or now, some point in time in the past, and some point in time in the future, as columns. Let's show you how to use this technique for the solution to the given problem. Step 1. Set up your age table, this can be a simple sketch with your pen and paper when you are in your exam. Step 2. Set up your age expressions and equations. For this age problem, there is no reference to any point of time in the past, so we can simply ignore the past column. Let x be Jacob's age at the moment. Miggy is 3 years younger than Jacob at the moment so it must be x minus 3. When their ages double, which is sometime in the future, Jacob's age will be 2x, while Miggy's age will be 2 times the quantity x minus 3. It is also stated that when their ages are doubled, Jacob is 6 years older than Miggy. And finally, the current total of their ages right now is 17. We have covered all the given expressions and equations, so now we can proceed to solve the problem. Step 3, work out the expressions and equations from our age table. The total of their present ages is 17. Therefore, x minus 3 plus x equals 17. From here we can already solve for Jacob's present age, x. Jacob is 10 years old at the moment. Step 4. We can already compute for Miggy's age which is x minus 3. Therefore, Miggy is 7 years old. You should have noticed by now that we've already solved the problem without using all of the given information. We basically just use the expression we derived from the first sentence, that is, that Miggy is 3 years younger than Jacob at the moment, and the equation we derived from the third sentence, that the current total of their ages is 17. The second sentence is completely unnecessary and is just meant to confuse you and make the problem appear more difficult than it actually is. You have to look out for things like this in your actual exam. 
Don't be immediately intimidated by problems that seem very complicated. They are not necessarily so. Nevertheless, let's use the equation we derived from the second sentence to validate the correctness of our answer. We earlier expressed the second sentence as 2x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3 plus 6. Substituting the values we computed for Jacob's age, that is, x, and Mickey's age, that is, x minus 3, we can see that the equation validates our answer. Success! Question number 3. What is the area of a triangle with a base of 5 and a height of 6? A. 4 square units B. 15 square units C. 30 square units D. 60 square units The correct answer is B. 15 square units. This is a very simple problem, that is, as long as you can recall the formula for the area of a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Knowing the formula, it is now a simple matter of substituting the given values. Area equals one half base, which is five, times height, which is six. Therefore the area is 15 square units. Question number four. What is the median of this set of numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, 3, B, 3.5, C, 4, D, 7. The correct answer is B, the median of the given set is 3.5. Let's first recall the definitions of mean, median, mode, and range, as shown. The median is the middle value. Since there are six numbers in all, there is no single middle number. The middle numbers are 3 and 4. To get the median we simply get the average of the two middle numbers, which is 3.5. Question number 5. 5 times the square root of 75, plus 2 square root of 3, is equal to a. 7 times the square root of 78 B. 7 times the square root of 225 C. 27 times the square root of 3 D. 3 times the square root of 3 The correct answer is C. 27 times the square root of 3 This is another very simple problem involving square roots. First, expand square root of 75 to, square root of 3 times 25. 25 is a perfect square so we can proceed to get its square root, which of course is 5. We now have two terms with a common factor, which is square root of 3. We can add the coefficients of the common factor and end up with 27 times the square root of 3, which is our correct and final answer. Question number 6. What is the probability of getting a sum of 12 after rolling a dice twice? A. 1 over 36 B. 1 over 12 C. 1 sixth D. 1 fourth The correct answer is A. 1 over 36. To get a sum of 12 after rolling a fair dice twice, we must get a 6 on both rolls. The probability of getting a 6 from rolling a fair dice is 1 over 6. The probability of getting also 6 from rolling the dice for the second time, is also 1 over 6. Therefore, the probability of getting a sum of 12 after rolling a dice twice is 1 over 36. Question number 7. What is the value of one internal angle of a regular decagon? A. 120 degrees B. 140 degrees C. 144 degrees D. 1440 degrees The correct answer is C. 144 degrees. Here's a review central pro tip. To find the sum of the internal angles of any regular polygon, use this formula. 
the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. Applying the formula to our given problem, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a decagon, that is, a 10-sided polygon, is the quantity 10 minus 2 times 180, which is 1440. But we are interested in the measure of only one internal angle of the decagon, not the sum of all its internal angles. To get the measure of one interior angle, we simply divide the sum by the number of total sides in the polygon. We should end up with 144 degrees, our final and correct answer. Question number 8. Bennett invested 20,000 pesos into a business that earns 5% every year. How much more money will he need to invest in a business that earns 10% per year, if he wants to earn 5,000 pesos a year? A. 20,000 pesos B. 30,000 pesos C. 35,000 pesos D. 40,000 pesos The correct answer is D. 40,000 pesos First, let's find out how much per year does Bennett's initial investment of 20,000 pesos make. The answer is 1,000 pesos. Next, we need to find out how much more must Bennett earn per year, if he wants to earn 5,000 per year. This is simply 5,000 less the 1,000 annual earnings from his initial investment. So he needs to earn 4,000 pesos more per year. Lastly, let's compute how much Bennett must invest in a business that will earn him 10% per year, so that he will earn the additional 4,000 pesos per year. We should arrive at 40,000 pesos as the final and correct answer. Question number 9. The logarithm base 5 of z is equal to 2. What is the value of z? A. 5 halves B. 7 C. 10 D. 25 The correct answer is D. 25. This problem requires you to recall your logarithmic identities. First, logarithm base 5 of z, can be rewritten as, logarithm of z over logarithm of 5. Multiplying both sides of the equation by logarithm of 5, we'll end up with logarithm of z equals, 2 times logarithm of 5. Again, recalling your logarithmic identities, we can actually rewrite 2 times logarithm of 5 as, logarithm of 5 squared. Now we can drop the logarithm on both sides and simplify the equation as, z is equal to 5 squared. Therefore, z equals 25. Question number 10. Frank can finish painting a wall in 6 hours. Sam can finish painting the same wall twice as fast as Frank does. How quickly can they finish painting the wall together? A. 1 hour B. 2 hours C. 3 hours D. 4 hours The correct answer is B. 2 hours. This is an example of a shared work problem, and we have another Review Central Pro tip for you. Use this formula when solving shared work problems. 1 over the time for worker 1 to complete the task alone, plus 1 over the time for worker 2 to complete the task alone, all the way to, 1 over the time for the last worker to complete the task alone, is equal to, 1 over the time for the task to be completed when all the workers are working together. How this formula is derived is explained in details in one of our Mathematics Explainer videos. You will find the link to set explainer in the description, if and when it is available. Going back to our given problem. If Frank can finish painting the wall in 6 hours and Sam can do it twice as fast, then Sam can finish painting the wall in 3 hours. Applying our shared work formula to our given problem. We'll arrive at the equation, 1 over 6, plus 1 over 3, equals 1 over x, where x is the time it will take to finish painting the wall with Frank and Sam working together. Lastly, let's solve for x. This is now simply algebra, and we should quickly arrive at 2 hours as the final and correct answer.
You have just completed few cat reviewer number two, which featured questions for the few cat mathematics subtest. If you wish to watch more few cat reviewers for the few cat mathematics subtest, check out our few cat mathematics reviewers playlist. Check out also our other few cat playlists or other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful, and feel free to share it to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming few cat, and we look forward to your exciting days as FEU student. Go Tams!